What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I wanted to talk about a topic that is very, very controversial, but first off, I have two things to say before we get into that. First off, I want to thank my buddy AC130Wiz for this epic gameplay. It's like an 85 and 11, I believe, but unfortunately, theater mode sucks, so it didn't catch the last like two minutes of the gameplay, so a lot of the kills did happen during that time, but enjoy the uh, awesome gameplay before then because the gameplay before then is pretty impressive in itself so uh, the second thing I want to talk about uh, obviously this video is going to attract a ton of Xbox hatred and I'm not for either side I am I'm going to explain to you people why I'm going to be buying an Xbox one at least in this moment in time before we get into that I will admit 100% because again I'm not a fanboy for either either side it is obvious on paper that the PS4 is a better product. It is. It's a better machine through and through. I can definitely say that. The PS4 is the better console. However, uh, it, it all depends on your situation. That's really what it boils down to, and that's what it should boil it down to. You know, it shouldn't boil down to whether a fa you know whether you're a hardcore playstation fanboy and xbox sucks dick and all that stuff like <clears throat> that's just stupid that's just immature i mean if you evaluate your own situation you know do you have the extra money um do those extra features you know the restrictions do they affect you and then you make a decision i mean that's how it should be made so that's what i've done i've thought about this for quite a while and xbox one is the route for me and let me tell you Probably the biggest reason is the exclusives. Now, um, I am aware that the PlayStation franchise, you know, PlayStation, the console, uh, Sony, they have a ton of really great exclusives. However, you know, the fact that they didn't come out with a new Uncharted, uh, at least a teaser trailer, or a new God of War, um, you know, if those came out, my opinion might be different at this moment in time. But as it happens at this moment in time, for me, the Xbox One exclusives are a huge selling point. I mean, seriously. We got Dead Rising 3, Forza Motorsport 5, the new Halo, Killer Instinct, Quantum Break, Rise, Sunset Overdrive, and, of course, Titanfall. I mean, seriously, these are huge, huge games. And, you know, just for the sake of comparing, the PS4 has Drive Club, Infamous, Killzone, Knack, The Order, 1886, um... You know, there's there's more. There's Planet Side 2. I'm just looking at a list here. Off the top of my head, there's Planet Side 2, um, Warframe, you know, games like that. And, you know, while I would like to get into more games that uh, I haven't played and whatnot, um, I, I don't know, guys. Just the exclusives are a huge, you know, I, I would much rather play Dead Rising 3 over, uh, I don't know, Infamous. And, you know, screw me. If that's if that's like a really terrible decision, that's just that's just me, and um, you know that's that's my decision. Another thing, you know, a lot of people are like, well, what about the used games and online restrictions, man? See, the point is that stuff is terrible, okay? And if I was like some kind of console, uh, you know, generation changing, you know, uh, active fighter for change in the gaming community, then yeah, I would buy a PS4 because I think. I think those restrictions are bullshit, complete bullshit. They should not be there. It, it, it just shouldn't be the way it is. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't affect me. As a gamer, as someone who uses his Xbox almost every single day, uh, online stuff will not affect me. You know why? Because I'll have a 100% of the time connection. I mean, unless the world ends and my power goes out. You know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> You know, if, and if it does, that's 1% of the time I've had my Xbox, I haven't been able to use it, is the power went out. You know, I don't have power problems in my area, and I won't when I move very soon. So that's not a problem. Like, the online restrictions, I couldn't care less. They don't affect me. And that's that. That's, that's real life. That's the real life application of that restriction. It's not going to affect me. And second off, uh, used games. I don't buy used. The only reason I would buy used is if I, you know, hadn't played the game or I didn't buy the game when it first came out and then it's like, I don't know, like two years after the fact and I'm like, yeah, I'd like to try this game out. I mean, most of the time I buy new. 95% of the time I buy new and the 5% of the time that I want to buy used, 
it's not going to happen anymore, and I'm just okay with that. I, I really, that's fine with me. Don't care. It doesn't affect me. That's why when you compare things on paper, it's very easy to pick a console. However, when you actually just apply it to how you're going to be using your console, when you're going to be using it, uh, it makes it a little more difficult. And right now, I am totally leaning Xbox One. That's just how it's going. And I don't know, as more developments happen, you know, we learn more about each console in the future. I, I mean, I hear that the PS4 actually has more uh, graphical potential than the Xbox One, which might change my mind. I don't know. Um, another huge factor that I don't know yet is friends. You know, what are my friends going to buy? If all of them buy PS4s, I might say sorry to Dead Rising 3 and, you know, what was the other game? Titanfall, stuff like that, and buy a PS4. It's really all situational, guys, and that's what I'm trying to bring about with this video. And, uh, yeah, that's that's really most of what I've got. Uh, you know, the PS4 is an incredible console. It really, it's going to be a really, really damn good console. Um, I, I kind of want to see what the interface of each of these consoles are going to be. I'm sure they're still working out software and all that stuff, but I want to see what they look like because... Uh, for me, at least this generation, the Xbox 360, PS3 generation, the PS3 is the entertainment console, in my opinion. It is, it's sleek, I mean, the user interface is just very clean, it's fast. I can't tell you how fucking annoying the Xbox 360 user interface is. It is so slow. When you turn on your Xbox, at least for me, when I turn on my Xbox, there's at least like a two to three minute period where... I can't do anything because the fucking thing is frozen. Like, how irritating is that when you use it every single day? It's super irritating. And then I get on the PS3, and it's just fluid, and it looks pretty. It's beautiful, and, you know, it's gra more graphically pleasing. It is better graphically. So, in my opinion, this generation, the PS3 is the entertainment console, and the Xbox is just the social console. It's the console that, you know, all of the cool kids have an Xbox 360, and they all play online and play Call of Duty. Like, that's the kind of console that the Xbox is right now. And um, the reason I, I, I kind of came about this uh, opinion more recently because I've been playing The Last of Us. And oh my gosh, if you're talking about a, a brilliant, wonderful video game presentation, you know, through and through, every single facet of that game is perfect. And on the PS3, it's even more perfect. So um, The Last of Us is just a beautiful game. I love it. But... Long story short, the only reason I will be buying an Xbox One, at least in this moment in time, is because of exclusives and the restrictions, they just don't affect me. And I'm willing to pay that extra hundred, so. Anyways guys, gameplay ends here because of stupid theater mode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click the like button, I'll talk to you later. Peace!